So Lush, easy projects fully explained. How to ed edit and digitize a black subject in Photo Stitch by PE Design. Hello, I'm Christine from So Lush, and um, this tutorial is looking at how to digitize um, a black or dark animal or item in Photo Stitch. I've chosen this little dog here. Um, it's a fairly clear picture and um, it's a little bit darker on the right than the left, but I don't think that's going to matter. But apart from that, it's a, it's a fairly clear picture. Um, I thought it would be interesting to see um, how we can try to get this little face to um, embroider without like a black mess when you're finished. If you haven't seen my previous video, I'd suggest you look at that first. It's called How to Edit a Photo for Photo Stitch and then How to um, Digitize in Photo Stitch. That video shows you pretty much um, everything you need for general photos, for animals of mixed um, colors and for items of mixed colors. Um, but this one concentrates just on um, a black item. So the first thing um, I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do what I said not to do in the previous video, and that is I'm going to lighten it without changing the contrast. So I'm going to leave the contrast where it is, but I'm going to make the picture a lot lighter. So I'm going for 40, in brightness and for zero in contrast and then I'm going to say okay now as you can see this this lightens it up a lot but it also kind of grays it so that um, instead of being a black lab it's now a sort of shades of gray uh, lab there's a few things to notice with this um, one is that around the eyes we've got some additional little bits that I don't want in my um, embroidery because the, they'll just confuse picture. So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, but you can also see that the red from the uh, blanket is reflected in the dog's eyes here. And so in order to get rid of those, I'm going to change them to brown, which is what they would have been better. So I'm just colouring in the eye where the red is and getting rid of it. And I'll, and I'll actually do the same thing on the other side, but I'll choose a slightly darker colour on the other side. Okay, so now um, I've changed the colour of his eyes. I'm going to change those little dots into something else. I'll just cover them over and I'm going to do the same on the other side and then I'm going to actually draw around his eyes so for that I need black And the little paintbrush again and just to emphasize those eyes. Now I need to um, change the points of light so to start with I'll just take out what's there and I'll take out what's on the other side And I'll shrink it down a little bit and now I'm going to put some white into his eyes it's worthwhile persevering with this because it does make such a big difference to your finished product okay And the next thing I need to do is to look at his mouth. And I can see around his mouth is not very well defined, so I'm going to just do a little bit more work on that. I'm 
and draw around the edges of his mouth. And I'll also just draw around his bottom lip like that. As well as having a little bit of red in the eyes from the reflection of the blanket, you'll notice that it's down the side of the dog's snout as well. So I'm just going to use my freehand tool, and this looks like a lasso. You'll have one on your uh, program, and I'm just going to draw around that little bit of red. I'm going to choose the colour that's the grey close to it and then I'm going to turn that grey and when that's in PE design you won't notice that that's been done differently. I'll also just colour over this little bit here. Make that the same colour as the side of his face. Um, and I'm going to use the same tool again. And I'm just going to go around his nose. Not that light part there, but just around the dark part of his nose here. Two under there. And I'm going to increase contrast. So I go into colours and adjust. I'm going to put that up to 40. So detail in, but it just darkens up the um, the nose. I'm, I've got to do now hand do the side of that nose. Now, if you can see, but it's it's just got a little bit of red there, and I I don't want red. I don't want grey either. Yep, that looks good. Um, I'm also going to darken up this light bit of grey here. And I'm just going to do the same thing again. Colours, adjust, brightness and contrast. And this time going to reduce contrast because it's such a light colour. I'm going to reduce contrast to zero and I'm going to reduce brightness. a bit better. Now I'll just take a studied look and make sure I've done everything I need to do at this stage. I think I have. It looks a bit of a caricature but actually that's what you need for, um, for, your, for your embroidery to look any good when it's finished. Um, Photo Stitch has a lot of trouble picking out detail when there's a lot of dark colour but I think that will do it. You now need to save this file somewhere where you'll know where it is and I'll see you over in PE Design. I just thought I'd show you these two designs. The one on the left is done entirely in Photo Stitch and using the colours that come out with Photo Stitch. The one on the right um, I edited first of all in my PaintShop Pro program and then took it into Photo Stitch. Um, when I then opened the file in PE Design, I went through and also altered a couple of the colours. So here we are in Photo Stitch in PE Design, and I've opened up my um, altered photo, and we're just going to now uh, digitise this photo. So I'm going to use the Node tool, and I'm going to increase the size of my picture. 
So if I just click on the node tool and pull a node from a corner down onto the dog. I'm going to do a head and shoulders of the dog, not, not his front feet. And now by increasing the amount of magnification, I can actually um, get a very uh, close cut for cutting the dog out. Make sure that if you've got a black dog or cat or whatever it is on a coloured background like this one is, that you don't accidentally um, put any of the colour onto your animal. And the reason I say that is because when you get to the back page of this, um, you'll have a whole lot of rogue colours in your, your digitised picture. Now if I put that down to the lowest magnification and see what it looks like I think that's okay I'm going to have it have a look at image tune just to see if I need to do anything I don't actually think I do but I will have a look what difference it makes original uh, to sharper we've already sharpened in the other program but yeah I don't think I want to do that now because we've made this picture a lot lighter uh, when we were doing the general editing in the um, photo program, photo editing program, I'm actually going to change the the contrast by reducing it and making the picture darker. Then click next. And this is when you're going to have a really good look at your picture and see whether you can actually see any red on your dog. And I can actually see a little bit just around here. So I'm going to go back and fix that. Yeah, I think that's probably done it. Yes, that looks better. And then design settings, I'm going to set it for 130 by 180. That's the five by seven hoop. And I'm going to fit to page. And then I'm going to say next. And this is what our, our dog looks like. Um, you can see the value now of picking out some parts uh, to make them a bit darker. I mean, it certainly helps with the eyes and around the mouth. Um, we have got a few uh, rogue colours in here and we're going to go back in and fix those now. So some of these colours are obviously strays, um, but we did make the eyes brown and there's a couple of browns in there. So for those, I'm not going to um, alter those until we get into the program. But that peach colour there can go. And then the other thing I need to do is add a couple more greys. So I'm going to my chart for dogs. That's a, that's a thread chart that I've made up myself with colours that I use for dogs. And I'll have a slightly lighter grey I'll add that in and I'll also add in a darker grey which will be no perhaps I won't I'll wait till I get to the other page okay so I'll make it a I'll make it finer Put it down to 2.6 and 
and I'll make it finer still. I'm not going to change brightness, I'm not going to change contrast. Um, I'm ticking for uh, sew page colour because we want the white in those eyes stitched and I'm leaving the browns in. I, I can see that there's actually brown in the fur but we'll change that when we get to the, um, the, the next page. So now I'm going to say finish. So now we're finished in photo stitch and we've come back out to PE design and I'm fairly happy with this design um, but there are some rogue colours that I still need to fix. That they're, they're much easier to do out here when we know that some of those colours will be in the dog's eyes. So if I go through the greys until I come down to another colour that's not a grey. There's a bit of brown there which is obviously in the dog's eye and then we come to a big lump of um, wild mulberry and I can see this across the bridge of the nose and down and down here on the side of his uh, snout and I don't want it to be wild mulberry so what I'm going to do is just go through my colours until I find a dark grey that I think will do and I think just that grey there will make a difference no I think that might be a bit light I'll go for a slightly darker grey that charcoal grey looks a good that's better and then we come to 8 and that's almost black and 10 is black and 9 is tawny brown but we don't want tawny brown because it's going to be in the body of the dog as well so I'm just going to change that as well for a, a grey yeah that's a dark nickel grey and that's going to be okay so as far as the colours go now um, they're all blacks and greys so um, I've finished that. Um, I can have a look at it in view and see what it'll look like in a realistic um, preview. Yeah. So now I'm going to sew this out and then I'll um, come back and show you the results. Out of the Black Lab. I'm quite pleased with the way the mouth and the nose have turned out and also the eyes. Um, it certainly pays to do a bit of pre-editing. Um, as far as um, the colour overall is concerned, um, I'd probably alter the palest of the greys for a slightly darker grey. Um, I normally have to do at least two stitch outs for each design get a black design that I'm happy with but normally with all my stitch outs I have to do at least two with a bit of editing in between but I think you'll agree that um, the preparation for this 